Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen. Today I wanted to talk about some things that I would really love to see in the short term for Star Citizen's Persistent Universe, but also things that are quite plausible, but I do actually think they could get in the game in some form in sort of like the next patch or two. The game could really benefit from some of these in my opinion. Vehicle in ship spawning is something that's been wanted for a while. The ability to have your rock or dragonfly or as a rover spawn in your ship um, and then you call it up on the ASOP terminal, it's already in your ship, you don't have to faff around with it, and you can like put different vehicles in your ship via the Moby Glass. Technically, the Constellation Snubcraft is the first version of this in-game. I'm hoping that Cloud Imperium are plowing ahead with that feature for more vehicles and ships. They did say they were sort of like working on the UI for it, working out exactly how they wanted the UI to work for that, which is basically what we're waiting on before it's in-game, as far as I understand. This leads me on to sort of my next point, which is more tangible ground gameplay. So a reason to actually have those vehicles spawning your ships and then land your ship and use those ground vehicles. 3.13 has expanded ground gameplay with FPS cave missions and cave entrances that you can enter and with your ships and vehicles, but there isn't much reason to use a ground vehicle at the moment other than the rock for mining. Really, we need missions to sort of make use of ground vehicles, reasons that we can't use ships, interesting things to find on the ground, give me the ability to assault a facility on the ground, so something like an underground bunker that we have now, but it also has NPCs on the surface and that I need to attack it from the ground because it's got strong air defences or an EMP generator or there's some sort of environmental effect or there's an anti-shield field so that my ships wouldn't have shields or something like that that stops ships from dominating and then I have to maybe hold the area and NPCs could try and take back that facility or there could be player missions to attack the facility and maybe you could get paid every so often for holding it. That would be amazing and you'd see tanks and ground vehicles everywhere defending it I'd expect. We're getting that tonk at some point in the 3.13 cycle so give me reasons to use those ground vehicles, give me more reasons to stay in Star Citizen and play the game and be on the ground. Better AI would also be great at the same time but I think that I'm sort of pretty excited for the Boreal Stalker that's on the roadmap now and getting work. That's the Apex Predator, the Microtech Yeti, that I suspect will be monsterizing many a players in Star Citizen's future. Hot zones. So I sort of described uh, basically what I'd like to see in the form of a hot zone there for ground gameplay, but I'd also like to see another jump town. Star Citizen needs to drive gameplay to certain areas in my opinion. Previously we had jump town. This was an area where you could land your ship and buy Widow drug that you could make a load of money selling and you couldn't really get anywhere else and yeah that was great this led to loads of players queuing up for it there locking down the area fighting over it running ops um you didn't know what's going to happen when you went there you could have a really fun social experience you could uh, be fighting someone else um it, th there was a huge amount going on and massive organizations would lock down whole servers and but this was really nothing more than driving cargo gameplay to a particular area. And then all sorts could happen, and it was genuinely a fun experience. And they could do this for so many different types of gameplay. In fact, I would like to see a hotspot for each type of gameplay. So you could have something for mining, you could have something for cargo, like Jump Town, you could have something for ground gameplay, uh, like I previously said, with the sort of like, the facilities that you protect. The current live build doesn't really have anything similar to Jump Town anymore. And it's such a small thing, have an area that has a rare resource that you can make good money from. Bam. And actually, let's continue on the cargo and economy road. We need mining and cargo haul in gameplay to make more money. And as I said earlier, actually, if you just had some hot spot gameplay, um, or at least the potential of making more money from cargo hauling and mining, that would be great. In 3.13, these gameplay loops are pretty underpaid and um, a quick little tweak could improve that. More generally, an economy rebalance and moving commodities would be a good idea as well. Um, as sort of linking it all together again, I'd like to see, and it's very important, to see appropriate PvP gameplay implemented into the game. Star Citizen suffers massively from a lack of tangible content for unlawful PvP players. This then has the issue that they can get bored and has led to camping outside of Port Olisar to attack players, or when we had the Xeno threat sort of set of missions, they were could be preventing players from doing the cargo phase of the mission. And that's sort of just quite stressful and annoying rather than this is fun. Uh, but gameplay for PvP for all those unlawful players just isn't supported properly. And it has a lot of un unintended results and a lot of players not wanting to get involved in PvP get involved in it um, because 
you know, they're in a mining ship at the wrong place at the wrong time, often, or around Port Olisar or whatever, and they just get murdered. Some gameplay and missions that get players aware that there's high risk and high reward that encourages PvP, um, encourages people to get escorts, and that sort of combines different types of gameplay coming together would be great. Really valuable mineables that appear on the star map as a mission for players to fight over would be awesome and solve a lot of gameplay issues I currently have. There you are, Cloud Imperium. There's a load of different gameplay types you could probably get in the game pretty quickly and easily, in my opinion. I mean, I'm not... I, I mean, I don't make games. Maybe it's not. Um, I'd love to see the ability to sell ships and weapons and gear too. That would be very cool. We know that Cloud Imperium actually have a focus on getting that in game at the moment. And it makes sense because they've got work towards storage and local inventories. We could start to see or at least hear more about selling other stuff um, other than commodities. So like our FPS gear and our weapons and components and stuff. Once 3.14 is dropped, I would expect them to start talking about it. The other major thing I'd like to see in the short term is optimizations. And... Clan Imperium have been working on Vulcan and the Gen 12 renderer updates that are going to replace DirectX 11 that the game currently uses. This should have the effect of better hardware utilization, better frame rates, and probably a prettier experience. And a lot more um, sort of like ability for Clan Imperium to work out what they want to try and put in the game and their sort of limits on resources. Because they're going to want to have as much going on as possible on the screen. They're going to want to have how pretty can we make everything that's reasonable um, and it would allow us to understand like what the final engine will be able to do, if you see what I mean. But also, from this, we should potentially see more stability from the client. Also, once Falcon's in, Clan Imperium have said they may be able to give us a potential sort of update on their VR plans for the game, though I wouldn't expect VR integration anytime soon. But it would be really good to know what Cloud Imperium are thinking with that. Is it something that they're just thinking for Squadron 42? Is it something they're thinking for uh, both their games? We'll have to wait and see. Stability is high on my wants. Uh, less in the way of sort of server crashes and client crashes. We know that Cloud Imperium is working on a netcode overhaul and improvements, server meshing and more. But shorter term, general optimizations and stability are very doable. 3.13 at the moment suddenly became incredibly unstable with uh, 30Ks and 50Ks and huge amount of client instability. Um, so uh, lots of backend and login server issues. And this isn't great because we are approaching Fleet Week in a few weeks and they need to have a very stable playable game for the masses. But boom! That's what I'd like to see in the short term and things that I think are quite viable to see. Nothing too cray cray there. I am interested to know what you think and what you'd like to see in Star Citizen in, in the near future. Do you agree with any of my points or not so much? Are you looking forward to any of the content coming in 3.14 or even the rest of 3.13 cycle? Whatever your thoughts, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Do you have questionable taste in anime? Do you not want internet pirates looting your internet search history? Do you want a way to have more accessibility to the internets from more countries? Or is your security and privacy important to you? Well, get NordVPN. I shill for them and you should use the code BOARDGAMER or the links below for a discount. Try it out. It's like a fleet of escort ships making sure your internet experience doesn't get griefed. We have the April ship giveaway as well for a Mercury Star Runner. The ship is extremely multi-role and should be part of any budding citizen's fleet. All you need to do to be in for a chance of winning one is comment on any of my videos made during the month. A random commenter will take that prize. These giveaways and the wider channel content are made possible by people that go the extra mile by becoming a Patreon or a YouTube channel member with that join button in the links below. And me and Zin, the editor for the channel, are now trying to put out regular exclusive content content as a thank you. We'll also be asking you in those videos to help shape the channel with uh, making decisions about what content we do and how we do it. Please consider joining if you're really enjoying the content. It really does help. Take care, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe for more Star Citizen content, and I'll see you in the verse.